Hello and welcome to course number 14, Ethical Considerations and Sustainable Responsibility. In this course, we deep dive into ethical decision making and sustainability in innovation. This course explores the ethical dimensions of innovation with a specific focus on understanding our ethical obligations in the light of development's impact on the environment. Let's start our exploration with a foundational concept of ethics. Simply put, ethics are the moral principles that guide and shape an individual's behavior. It's the compass for ethical decision-making in our dynamic world. So one of the main questions is, why is ethics so important when we seek for innovation? Well, ethics play a crucial role in the innovation process. Firstly, ethical considerations serve as a guiding framework to ensure that technological advancements align with moral principles and societal values. When we embark on innovative endeavors, it is super important to reflect on the potential these creations may have on individuals and communities. For instance, consider the development of facial recognition technology. While it holds the promise of enhancing security and convenience, its implementation without ethical scrutiny could lead to privacy infringement and even discrimination. So what does it mean to think and act ethically? And what can we do to make ethical choices and do the right things? Firstly, being informed, critical and reflective is like having a superpower. Imagine you're faced with a tough decision. Being informed means you've got the knowledge. Being critical means you're questioning things. And being reflective means you're thinking deeply about the consequences. It's like having a compass that guides us towards choices that stand up to scrutiny. Now let's talk balance. Ethical considerations are all about finding that sweet spot between individual and societal needs. It's not just about what's good for me. It's about what's fair and beneficial for everyone. Think of it as teamwork for the greater good. Next up, our commitment to human rights, equality and active citizenship. Picture this. By championing these values, we become advocates for fairness and justice. It's about ensuring that every individual has a voice, regardless of their background or identity. It's like building a world where everyone gets a fair shot at the game of life. Being socially responsibility is like having a superhero cape. It's about realizing that our actions have ripple effects on society and the planet. So let's choose actions that make the world a better place for all, environmentally, economically, and socially. Respectful, inclusive, and sustainable. These are our guiding principles. Imagine a world where everyone is treated with dignity, where diversity is celebrated, and our actions today do not compromise the well-being of future generations. Now, let's continue with the definition of sustainable development. Sustainable development is often defined as development that meets present needs without compromising the ability of future generations to fulfill their own needs. At its essence, it advocates for a developmental approach that strives to harmonize various, sometimes conflicting needs while being well aware of the environmental, social, and economic constraints that society faces. If you want to have more information on sustainability and where it comes from, please see the video that is given here or have a look at the written information of this course. The figure here illustrates the interconnectedness of these spheres portraying the sustainability as the synergy between society, economics, and the environment. Environmental 
considerations encompass the responsible use of natural resources. It's about pollution prevention, biodiversity and ecological health. While social aspects include standards of living, educational and job opportunities and equal access for all. Economic factors drive growth, profits, cost reduction and investments in research and development, among other considerations. This concept of sustainability lay the foundation for the development of the Sustainable Development Goals, short SDGs, that embody a global commitment to tackle urgent challenges and construct a more sustainable future. It was ratified by United Nations Member States in 2015, and these 17 SDGs serve as a comprehensive blueprint directing international endeavors to reduce poverty, ensure prosperity for all, and safeguard the planet by 2030. Here you see all the 17 Sustainable Development Goals that harmonize all three dimensions of sustainability, social, economic, and environmental. Now let's have a closer look at the specific goals. For example, in regards to economy, we have goals like zero hunger, goal number two, or no poverty that you see in goal number one. And we also strive for decent work and economic growth in goal number eight. When we think about society, we will find goals like um, better quality in education, which is goal number four, gender equality, goal number five, and reducing inequalities that you will see in goal number 10. And if we look at the biosphere, the environment, we will find goals like uh, clean water and sanitation in goal number six, affordable, and clean energy, goal number seven, climate action, goal number 13, and life below water, goal number 14. The sustainable development goals are the same for all countries and all stakeholders. This has created a common frame of reference for all countries worldwide for the implementation of sustainability aspects. It's a global contract for the future. Implementing the goals requires efforts at all economic policy levels, regionally, nationally and globally, together with the United Nations and the many institutions involved in implementing the 2030 Agenda. So if the focus of sustainable development is on the future, does this imply a compromise in the present? Well, not necessarily. Sustainable development revolves around discovering improved approaches for both the present and the future. While adjustments to our current work and lifestyle may be necessary, it does not automatically translate to a reduction in our quality of life. Adopting a sustainable development approach yields numerous advantages in the short to medium term. For instance, Opting for alternatives like walking or cycling for short journeys rather than driving not only saves money, but also enhances health, providing to be a quick and convenient choice. So the important question is, what can we do and how can we ensure to behave ethically correct and sustainable? The answer is as easy as that. Do something great. Everyone has the capacity to take action. The responsibility doesn't solely rest on our world leaders. Each individual stands to gain from a world that is more prosperous, inclusive and resilient. Whether we find ourselves in governmental roles, civil society, business management or within the confines of our homes, and whether we're students or not, each one of us can contribute. While governments shape policies guiding sustainable development and both public and private sectors finance substantial shifts, individual choices accumulate swiftly. Your decisions, whether related to work, mobility, relationships, 
or um, in regards to justice, they all hold the power to make a difference. When it comes to innovations and technical development, ethical and sustainable behavior involves thoughtful consideration and adherence to key principles. Here are questions you can ask yourself to guide ethical and sustainable decision making. Impact assessment. How might your innovation impact the environment, the society and the economy? What potential positive and especially negative consequences could arise from the implementation of this innovation? Stakeholder consideration. Who are the primary stakeholders that are affected by this innovation and have their perspectives been considered? Long-term viability. How does this innovation contribute to long-term sustainability and resilience? Is your innovation designed for durability with consideration for its environmental and social footprint over time? If you look at the ethical design, does the innovation prioritize inclusivity, fairness, and accessibility for diverse user groups? And when we look at the resource management, how efficiently does your innovation use natural resources and does it minimize waste? Is the innovation energy efficient and does it promote sustainable resource use? When we look at social responsibility, well, how does the innovation contribute to social well-being, equality and community development? In regards to transparency and accountability, is there a commitment to transparency in the innovation process? It includes factors like open communication and also talking openly about risks and benefits. And last but not least, you should have a look at the continuous improvement process. Do you as an innovator have mechanisms in place to gather feedback and continuously improve the ethical and sustainable aspects of your innovation? By addressing these questions, you can foster a culture of ethical awareness and sustainability, ensuring that your innovation contributes positively to the broader well-being of society and the planet. The decisions we make carry the potential to influence. Discover how you can take immediate action for our shared future. There is a lot of information in the internet about how to develop sustainable thinking and ethically behavior. Check out these links for further information. Thank you for your participation. In today's interconnected world, it is crucial for each of us to take action and integrate sustainability into our decision making. By collectively embracing these principles, we contribute to a future that is not only prosperous, but also environmentally responsible and socially just.